you know, removing the Ferrari engine and put a Volkswagen engine in a Ferrari fussy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to this little performance talk. No, we are not talking about my bad performance, which is <laughs> truly awesome. <laughs> we are talking about your bad performance in FPS and not your performance in bad, but your, your, your bad performance. You know what I mean. So in general, for myself, for example, I have a 3080 Ti and a AMD 3600X and my one core, one core of these 3600X is always at maximum capacity. And uh, this is not utilizing my graphics card to the fullest and many people also have this problem. So for example, I have all my settings set to high on 4K and I have 60 FPS. I crank them up to cinematic and uh, they are still very close to 60 FPS. I think my CPU is bottlenecking my uh, GPU um, very hard. Also very important, playing Mortal with an uh, older CPU and DDR3 RAM and maybe a hard disk and not an M.2 or, or an SSD and stuff. And then you will have a, a hard time getting decent FPS and not plopping up objects in the distance and stuff. You will also have real problems with level streaming if you come close to a town and stuff and the town is loaded, then your screen freezes more or less for one or two seconds. This is not a node line, this is a streaming line problem. But maybe Unreal Engine 5 will fix some of these problems and we will see. So for example, in the forums, there are a few threads. I also started one where some people have really, really hard performance problems, even with a decent graphics card and decent CPUs and actually good GPUs. And um, a lot of people have these problems. I made a thread and asked about what specs do the people have and what FPS they got. So the link to that thread is in the description by the way. And it seems a little bit strange because even some, some low-end setups more or less have a decent FPS and uh, it's working fine. So maybe there's a deeper problem behind and it has a lot to do with single core speed and also some other factors like the, the RAM for example that you use the DDR4 RAM and an M.2 or an SSD. But now much more important what Henrik said to all this. 5600X is not bound, hard to say it's CPU bound. <clears throat> well, it is it is still CPU bound in terms of threads, maximizing a thread. Uh, Unreal 4 can only utilize X amount of CPUs in an efficient way. After that, doesn't matter how many cores you have, that will be your bottleneck. Um, that is something that is improving every now and then. Um, so yeah, if you actually look at your threads, you're gonna see that you're bound pretty much when playing Mortal Line. One of the, at least one thread is hitting 100%, and that is kind of the more common CPU bound uh, for a game. So I was interested in seeing that the new uh, Intel CPU 12,000 something series that is actually utilizing some of the cores to be fast efficient for gaming, that could actually push this game quite a bit forward as well, or should push it a little bit forward. Um, I got a 39 and get shit FPS. I got that card too, and I'm around 200 to 300 FPS at top. And when I'm at the worst places or having 100 players on the screen, I'm around 40 FPS, which is perfectly fine when it comes to 100 players in the detail of level that our game offers and pretty much compared to any other MMO that I played uh, that is very impressive numbers Ryzen 7 1080 I have no luck yeah that, that's what I mean uh, I guess it's all to a degree obviously it comes down to is there an issue or not you know uh, drivers etc that that can be a component but then in those I guess it comes down a lot to some CS gamers that needs those 240 FPS, if you, if you can't reach those numbers when you're fighting, everything sucks, you know. But that is kind of a false and wrong expectation when it comes to a game like this. You can't rely on such frame rate because the actual whole network system doesn't even allow that kind of refresh rate. So that is just like putting, how do I describe it, uh, you know, removing the Ferrari engine and put a Volkswagen engine in a Ferrari fussy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Will the UFI switch port cause a full player data wipe? No. Got 36 in the laptop and runs great at Epic. 
yeah that, that's that's what i mean it's you know obviously we need to look closer when it comes to good computers having um unexpectedly low performance if, you know if there's an issue you know corrupt cache files in any way that causes performance problems there could be cases like that uh so obviously it's something we need to look closer at but overall performance is good when things are working as intended in terms of client bad performance in sewers <clears throat> i mean obviously it depends a lot or you know everything depends on the hardware you're you're playing it on as well but when we have collected data throughout the whole beta uh, you can run a game on a quite low spec computer now i'm not talking about uh you know a 10 year old computer perhaps but uh decently okay -ish computer i mean it's still a next generation visual open world game that is the most demanding game type you can play so obviously having this high visual quality uh including in this complex world obviously there's a cost with that right um but overall all the feedback we gather is that um performance is great you, you you get pretty good frames on a older cpu and graphic card but again it, it you know it all depends on what everyone see as good or bad performance and uh, older new computer it, that's that's all individual right it is cpu heavy yes it is cpu bound so if you have a very old cpu that will hold back your gpu quite a bit um and that is why you saw all the latest patch we did throughout the beta up till release was pretty much cpu optimization so we squeezed out as much power as possible uh, offloading from the cpu 8000 uh 700 and i'm lagging as hell in serious that sounds like something is very wrong because with that kind of spec you should be running the sewers flawlessly and that is what people are actually doing so that sounds strange i don't know how you can have bad performance on those specs that is i don't know um you know check settings worst case you know update all drivers and if you know you tried all that you could try to reinstall the game if something is very wrong because it sounds as something is very wrong this was a very interesting statement from henry i met many people who had problems uh, mostly with uh, antivirus programs and stuff like origin you play 20 other launchers and stuff and shit running in the background 20 other programs open any stuff that eats cpu for example just even cortana in the background and stuff um, so much stuff eating eating from your first cpu core and that is the core you will need the most to get to squeeze out the most performance but if you have a really clean setup and nothing no shit running in the background even the fucking windows services and all the other stuff is not running in the background and stuff and you still have shitty fps then you should try to consider buying some other hardware if it's not fluent enough for you to play or maybe star world is releasing a potato mode like a rust uh, head with um, just just everything is just one color and it looks really like like yeah like like a potato everything looks like a potato and then it maybe also can run on a game boy color so i hope this was a little bit interesting and maybe clean up your windows to squeeze out uh, the last uh, three to five fps and we have a new support on the channel windorn windorn the dorny yeah dorny not horny okay so special thanks to all the supporters come on first house love of game world magnolia spice judgment of neuron is partner next video you you uh, not not you Colo Bulldog, you and all the others, of course. So, FPS and clean up hard. Uh, I mean, uh, never forget to make party hard. And see you all next time. Goodbye.